How do we teach others to follow the sterile cockpit rule? Welcome to the Safer Pilot Challenge. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here, M0A.com. It's day nine of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. Who is, is that right? Nine for nine. Put it in the comments down below. Congrats on that. If you're new to this, you got eight videos to go catch up on. Be sure to like and subscribe, by the way, here as well. And don't forget, if you're loving the free videos, where do you go? m0atrial.com. Take a free trial of the online ground school. Fall in love with our teaching style before you spend any money with us and check it all out. So let's talk about something. It's the sterile flight deck. Some people still call it the sterile cockpit. Whatever you call it, I want to go back to the regs and actually some 121 regs, airliner regs. 14 CFR 121-542 says, perform no duties during a critical phase of flight except those required for the safe operation of the aircraft. Now I know most of you are flying under part 91. So you'd say, what does a 121 reg have to do with me? Well, we want to look up to our airline brethren uh, for these safety tips. You see, Critical phase of flight is all ground operations involving taxi, takeoff, landing, and actually any hops below 10,000 feet. In our, in our case, really, cruise flight. We don't want to perform any just extra things um, during these critical phases. In fact, there's so many accidents that are a result of pilot distraction. So in 1981, the FAA actually enacted what they call the sterile flight deck for part 135, your charter ops, and part 121 operations. While it's not regulatory for part 91, what we're doing, just flying around essentially, I think it's important that we enact this and follow this. So I wanna share with you some tips I do, because listen, I'm flying with an eight-year-old and a five-year-old sometimes, my wife Magda, and just friends and everything else. A great rule to start with is Let's put away the phones. You think about a sterile flight deck, it's just people talking, kids singing, everything else. No, put away the phones. You know what, I actually don't even get text alerts on my iPad. I disabled it because they were popping up and they were distracting. My iPad is for flying and that is it. No text messages, no emails come through on it. No extra conversations, by the way, with your co-pilot, with your passengers. Effective CRM, though, still requires good open communication. But leave the irrelevant conversations to cruise flight or when you're out of the airplane. By the way, another thing we don't think about often is you got to stop with this low altitude sightseeing, looking out the window, spacing out the window, whatever it is. You want some data on that, go look up Eastern Airlines 212. There's a crash in Charlotte. They were looking at an amusement park and crashed. It's just, it's crazy to read this and to think that was even a possibility for a professional crew. So another thing to think about, we think of just a sterile flight deck, you know, okay, I put my phone away, I'm not talking to my spouse or my friend. What about irrelevant talk with ATC? Or we've all heard those pilots on the pilot controlled frequencies, oh, hey, Joey, oh, hey, Jason, how are you? And they're having a whole conversation. I'm trying to make my radio calls in here and be that professional safe pilot. You need to brief your passengers well ahead of time. Hey, this is when we don't talk. And you also need to have a universal sign of when silence is needed, even in cruise flight. For me, that's what I do. You hear two, three, Mike Zulu, the finger comes up, everybody knows to zip it. From the five-year-old on up, everybody knows this means zip it, right? When the hand comes up like that. Um, another thing is use the ISO button or put it just on the crew. Know how to use that, by the way. Again, I fly with an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. I remember on, on one particular kind of stormy night, they were in the back. It was, it was raining around us and they're singing, row, row, row your boat. I'm thinking, this is great. I'm dealing with the weather. I'm glad they're not worried about it. I'm a little worried about it. ISO button, you two keep singing, I gotta fly this airplane here. So, but what can our passengers help with? Even our littlest passengers. Did you see on our Instagram when uh, Ella, we were taken off and Ella said, she knows to only speak about things that concern the flight. And she speaks up and says, I'm counting the water droplets coming off our airplane, daddy. I said, 
what water droplets are you talking about? And sure enough, and maybe Coach Ray can find the video clip, uh, the fuel cap was, uh, it was on secure, but it was actually uh, loose and fuel was pouring out of the wing. So that was a good time to speak up. Show your passengers when to speak up. Teach them how to spot traffic. Teach them how to talk about the critical phases of flight, but the critical things that pertain to this flight as well. Let them know when it's safe to talk. Let them know when to zip it. You see, you are the educator. You can't hold someone to a standard that you haven't communicated yourself. This needs to be a part of your professional flight brief. So you maintain that level of professionalism. I know you're just flying around a 172, but we must be professional in everything that we do. Start to exercise that sterile flight deck in everything. And instructors, instructors, this is a tough one because, well, we need to talk as an instructor. We need to draw the line between what is teaching and what is talking. Now watch that nose sneaking up on you. This is a common, common thing. The most common student pilot error moving to the right seat is making a left turn and picking up the nose. Yeah, I immediately, the first thing I thought was I should go, you know, for the loss of the vertical component, but that's maybe too much. Too much, so there's East roll out. Now give me that back around the south, please. Back around the south. You're allowed to be talking. If you're talking about your kid's high school football game last night during taxi, that's not safe. Keep things relevant to the flight. So instructors, keep that in mind as well. Many instructors go, oh, I, have to be st I can't talk. Well, you're doing your learners a disservice too. You need to be teaching as well. So listen, I hope you're loving this 31 day safer pilot challenge. Again, like, subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. I will see you all tomorrow. In the meantime, have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see ya. Hey everyone, don't forget the m course prices are going up on February 1st. So head over to the m store to subscribe now and beat the increase. Existing members lock in their prices for as long as they maintain their subscription.